Everywhere you turn, people are on their cell phones, especially teens. But they're not just checking in and making plans, they are sexting, a term defined as sending and receiving sexually explicit messages and images. Sexting has become so common, Illinois teens have faced legal consequences. <laughs> Within the past three years, there have been a number of high profile sexting cases that have rocked local communities. In 2015, four students at Joliet Central High School were charged with child pornography after posting a sex video on the popular social media site Twitter. That same year at Ridgewood High School in Norridge, four teens were arrested after two female students shared nude photos of themselves with their male classmates who distributed them to others. Most of the statistics that I've read when researching it indicate that one in five kids participates in some form of sexting, and that's a really shocking statistic. Mark Hagler, clinical director at Community Youth Network in North Suburban Grays Lake, provides court-ordered counseling to teens involved in sexting incidents. They don't even realize that if they're capturing something, uh, nudity, um, of themselves or somebody else and that person's below 18 that now you've entered into child pornography range. While sexting can be a serious crime, Will County State's Attorney James Glasgow says first-time offenders appearing in juvenile court are typically charged with misdemeanors and ordered to seek counseling and court supervision. Those criminal laws that are on the books are going to stay, but we don't want to criminalize these juveniles who are experimenting uh, on the internet and with their phones. Uh, because if you're a registered sex offender for the rest of your life, you basically are done. The Will County State's Attorney's Office has a team of experts who work with schools to educate kids on the dangers of sexting. They say the key is prevention, not criminal prosecution. The children today have a much different attitude towards relationships and sex because they've been exposed to so much at a young age. But it doesn't change the fact that they, they need to be more mature, have more life experiences before they venture into that area. That area now includes popular video and instant messaging apps like Snapchat, Kick, and Whisper, which make it even easier for teens to distribute sexually explicit images through their phones. Some of them are even using vault apps designed to hide content from onlookers. Sarah Buchek is a lawyer for the Illinois Association of School Administrators and works as an advisor to schools facing sexting cases. She says schools must have up-to-date policies and educate students on the risks of sexting. I think that it's much more widespread um, than we would like, um, but I think that with the enhancement and the engagement of school districts in being proactive, I think we will eventually see this become something where students have a better grasp of what it is. We spoke to a group of teens who say sexting has become the norm. I think adults do kind of make too much out of it because some it's for us it's common but for adults it's like because they're older and like things like that didn't happen when they were young.